morning. So I'm at Wasdale National Trust campsite. Um, I've been here for the last two nights. Um, I'm here for a week all together and I'm hoping to tackle all the fells around in this area. So I've got yew barrow just there behind me. That's one for later on in the week. We've got a really big day planned today. Um, packed up my big rucksack. And we're heading out on a long walk and hopefully a wild camp. So today we're going up Scarfell Pike via Lingmel Fell. Um, we're going to Scarfell, Great End and Slightside. Um, that's quite optimistic because that pack is really, really heavy. It's about four times the weight that I'm used to carrying. Um, so yeah, I might not even get up Lingmel Fell. Um, but we shall see. I'm always up for a challenge. I'm a little bit scared, if I'm honest with you. It's quite cold here in the mornings down in the valley. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like up there on the fells. Um, but hopefully I'm prepared. Um, yeah, let's do this. Bloody tent pegs in my back. Is that? This is going to be really slow going. We've literally just come out of the campsite and yeah this pack is so heavy um, and I feel like I've I don't know I don't know my pack enough to know where everything is I don't know where to put my phone I don't know where to keep my map put my compass here um, but yeah it's all experience and a learning curve <sighs> Jesus I'm knackered already and I'm only on the flat oh. So that is Lingmel, that's where we're heading up, straight up the nose, so it's going to be quite steep, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> see the scar fells so very clear at the minute let's hope they stay clear when we're up there because last time I was up at the top of Scarfell Pike it was misty so couldn't see anything so it'd be good to be at the top of England's highest mountain um, and have a decent view from it yet <sighs> point four miles only another 10.6 to go and about five and a half thousand foot of ascent <sighs> oh it makes all the difference having this weight on your back Thank you. 
right we've decided we're not going straight up the nose because it's very steep so we're going to go on the path towards Scarfell um, up to the Col and then veer off to the left to Lingmel so I'm told it's an easier route um, it'll probably add a bit of distance on um, but we've got time I guess so yeah see how we get on if you can make them out in the distance but you can see two dozen people snaking the way up the side of the fell Right, we've just hit what's known as the Rock Gardens, apparently. Um, gets its name because of all the rocks. Uh, we're about 1.8 miles in. The total walk is about 11 miles, but obviously we'll be pitching up at some point. Um, we're about 2,000 foot up. Um, the walk 
is five and a half thousand foot just over so we've still got quite a bit of climbing to do um i am really feeling it with this pack on it's um really taking it out of my legs but i'm just taking it slow plenty rests not my usual racing up a mountain um yeah we'll get there Clouds blowing over quite nicely now with a bit of luck we might be in for some decent views when we get to the top you can see lots of people now heading up to Scarfell Pike we've veered off at Lingmel Col and we're heading up to Lingmel Fell which is the first one of the day and there's not a soul here in comparison so nice and quiet now so we should have this one to ourselves for a bit um, it's very windy so I've got the jacket on it has stopped we must be a bit sheltered at the minute but it is very cold when we're in the wind um, so yeah still slow and steady does it got a long um, long day still ahead of us and tonight so yeah it's all good This is it. My legs are like jelly. fell wow one down four to go look at these views around here that's absolutely amazing so that's Lingmel that's where we've just come down and we're now on, oh, nearly went then. We're now on the corridor route heading over to Great End. A little bit windy.
Oh yeah, look, there's an arrow there. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I found one. Look there on the rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you see it? It says this way, look. turning out to be a longer walk than I expected. Um, the walk route had us scrambling up the side of the fell. Um, there was no actual footpath and it just wasn't practical. Um, so we've had to come all along the bottom. Um, we've had to drop down quite a bit to climb back up, which isn't ideal. Um, but at least it's a safer route for us. It's a bit drizzly. Again, it just keeps coming and going. Um, so yeah, it's all good. Great end, our second peak, and it's been tough. Um, we've walked just over five miles, which isn't even halfway through, and we've been going for over four hours. So I think we'll be finding somewhere to set up camp um, once we've hit the top of here. Somewhere quite sheltered because it's um, quite windy. But yeah, I'm ready for a rest. Alright, we're just coming up to the top of Great End and it's been absolutely horrible. Um, it's just so rocky, it's a slog and yeah, you just can't see anything, there's just mist, so um, I'm feeling a bit out of my depth if I'm honest. Oh. And there's the cone, finally, I never thought I'd get there. Oh. Great end, second one done, at least there's a wind shelter. Right, we're going to drop down now and try and find somewhere to camp. Um, don't fancy being um, this high up, especially not with all the mist around us, it's a little bit spooky. So yeah, try and um, get down somewhere a little sheltered and a little bit closer to the campsite I think that's great end 
that's what we've just come down. Absolutely horrendous. Um, I'm sure in nicer weather it would have been lovely. Um, but yeah, we'll have to get down. Um, I can see the town now where we're camping and there's quite a few people um, set up down there already for the night. Right, well that's it, the wild camp is ticked off the list. Um, didn't really sleep much, it was quite cold. Um, I'm just thankful that I brought quite a few extra layers. Um, the mist has come down around us, you can't really see much. Um, yeah, so I'm just having a coffee. And then we're going to pack up and head down and then hot shower um, and probably back in my tent back on the campsite I think. Cheers. Go. It started raining. And we're off. We were camped at about 2,000 foot. I'm so glad I wasn't camped up there, which would have been over 3,000 foot. Um, yeah, 
felt, I don't know if I felt cold or if it was just nerves or anxiety or what, but yeah, didn't have a great night's sleep. I felt like I wanted to um, come down in the middle of the night. Um, just panicking a bit. Um, her bed kept going down. Um, but other than that, it was an experience. I'd do it again. Um, and I'd do it a bit differently, I think. So we've had a bit of a change of plan from what we intended yesterday. It was going to be a big walk, camping somewhere amongst the Scarfells, and then carrying on um, back down to, to the campsite. We'd have hit five way and rights, including Scarfell Pike. Um, but for one thing and another, I think we underestimated how hard it would be to do such a demanding walk with 20 kilos on your back. Um, as we got to the top of Great M, which is that one just behind me, um, the mist came in and yeah, it was horrendous. I just wanted to get down to somewhere where I knew. Um, so we dropped down to Sprinkling Tarn. That's where we camped. And obviously because we've come away from Scarfell Pike and we've dropped quite a few um, feet, probably about 1500 feet, didn't really want to be climbing up again this morning. So we've just got a couple of miles downhill into Wasdale Head um, and then to the campsite. So yeah, only two new way rights, Lingmel and Great End. I have already done Scarfell Pike, so I'm not too bothered about that. That's the ridge we climbed up yesterday to Great End. Never ending, it seemed to go on and on. You'd get to what you thought was the top and then you'd see another big rocky mound in front of you and you knew that you still had miles to go. Or it felt like miles. Um, but yeah. It was still good. I enjoyed it. Good scramble. It'd be good to do it in better weather, I think. That's a welcoming sight. You can just see Wasdale Head in the distance. And it looks like the sun's shining a bit more than it is here. My favourite type of footpath, not. It's not like there's a, a big um, drop down a cliff or anything. Just hit Wasdale Head, so we've not far to go now to the campsite. Um, probably about half a mile, maybe, and it's all flat, it's pretty much all on the road or on track. Um, it's about half nine in the morning, past quite a few people going up as we're coming down. Um, but yeah, just looking forward to putting my pack down and having something to eat. My stomach is really rumbling now.
and we're back at the campsite. Wild camp done. See you soon.